Hey all, test, test, test. Test, hello. Oh yeah, there we go, looks good. Sorry, just making sure all my stream settings are actually correct. It's obviously been a little while. I had a big uh, vacation there and then just a bit doing other things because as usual, life remains busy. But I uh, was hoping to get a game in. Um, <laughs> with that said, that's not exactly looking great at the moment. Um. But, uh, yeah, uh, anyhow, yeah, I was hoping to play an Agricola, but it's not looking great. Um, but we might get one. Uh, otherwise, the other big-ish news is Caverna has hit beta on Board Game Arena. Um, I don't, I don't care as much about uh, Caverna as I do Agricola, but but Caverna is still kind of cool. Um, I played a decent amount in Alpha, but. Uh, I'm still half listening to Lumen stream in the background, so sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted, uh, because he's bashing Caverna, which is fair, uh, I think Agricola is much better, um, and I wouldn't be sad about streaming Agricola at the moment, but someday I'm gonna stream a little bit of Caverna here and there, um, but yeah, I don't know when. Um, yeah, he's coming this way. I, I don't, I don't know if he actually is right. Like, I think he is actually going to stream more now, which is fine. Um, I'll, I'll mute, I'll let Lubin finish his stream off. I'll, I'll end it. Um, all right. And I almost have an Agricola game. It looks like the arena queue is nearly done. Uh, anyhow, how was vacation? Excellent question. Uh, vacation was great. Uh, I had a really good time. Uh, me and my partner went to Europe for two weeks. And yeah, I went to London and Belgium and the Netherlands and had a really good time just exploring, sightseeing, doing all the tourist stuff. Um, I went to the Packers game in London, uh, but the Packers have decided to absolutely suck. Uh, so, you know, that part was disappointing. But uh, it was still a really cool experience. So, I mean, whatever. Going going to games is fun, even if your team loses. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, what else have I been up to? I mean, yeah, obviously it was a big vacation. And then otherwise, it's just kind of been getting back into life here. Um, still doing a decent amount of playing PS5. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to play a few more board games. Although, also, I'm, I'm a little more solo board gaming again now these days. Doing a little more Lord of the Rings over the table. Uh, and just trying to get a little more in-person gaming going with friends. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, my, uh, my, my Caverna and Agricola tables are not looking good. So hopefully this, hopefully this arena queue pops any moment. Uh, cause otherwise I might just have to abandon trying to stream tonight and, uh, go some other day. But we'll see what happens. Let's go sneak a peek at what Lumen has actually decided to do. Oh no, he's gonna play Wingspan instead? Gross. Gross. Alright, somebody... Oh no, Lumen, Lumen went for Can't Stop in the end. Somebody had joined a game. Uh, my Caverna table got somebody. Interesting. Huh. 
Um, so there's still a mild chance this is a Caverna stream. Who knows? It's very much unknowable at this point. Oh, is it actually Wingspan? No. All right. We're gonna we're gonna judge Lumens. We're gonna judge Lumens. Uh, can't stop. What are the most important furnishing tiles in Caverna? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think a handful of the scoring ones are some of the more important ones to like carry about. Um, a handful are going to get taken pretty much every game and can be very like impactful. Um, one of the ones that I think is quite strong well hmm, i don't know there's several like pretty good ones one that's pretty strong is uh god i can't remember the name i think it's the state parlor it's the one that counts adjacent dwellings they're worth four points at the end of the game and two food instantly so if you set up your layout pretty well you can get quite a few points and food off that which is nice um, coupled with that, the Broom Chamber, it's the one that scores 5 points if you have 5 dwarfs, and 10 points if you get the 6 dwarf. Um, that one's always kind of important to worry about. If somebody actually gets that additional dwelling and gets the 6 dwarves and then gets a cheap Broom Chamber, that's pretty annoying. Um, somebody that's going to go no weapons and just builds the Prayer Chamber for 8 points is great. Or alternatively, somebody that does have weapons but goes for the prayer chamber and the chamber that lets them turn their weapons into food all of that's like really high scoring um fodder chamber counts up all your animals and is worth some bonus vp i find it's actually a little hard to abuse that one though so i don't care as much about that um outside of the scoring tiles the only other furnishing tiles that i think like have huge impacts are the office room if somebody's going office room, they're going to overhang a lot of tiles. They're going to have extra space. There's going to be more competition for the space actions. So that's a little bit worth knowing about. And then the only other one that matters a lot or can matter a lot is, oh God, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the one that lets you treat either or as and. So it lets you take both actions on certain tiles. That one can also be a little tricky to exploit, but if you set yourself up to exploit that one, it can be it can be really annoying. It, it, it's useful to pay attention to who has that and what they're trying to do with it. Um, the biggest thing that lets them do is early on, it lets them use the growth space to build the room and grow at the same time. Um, but it lets them abuse a handful of other action spaces too. Um, now, I play a decent amount of three and four player which might be coming through in my suggestions because like the either or thing is quite powerful in three player when the board's very open and it's pretty good at four player but it obviously like the more competition for spaces there is the less useful that becomes um but yeah it's not looking great for me getting a game also, I've only been half watching Lumen, but it looks like he's just been generally unlucky on his turns. Like, he's been making reasonable choices and pushing, but keeps busting. Like, yeah, that's that's very unlucky there. Uh, hey, Severe. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I'm <laughs> trying to get a game. <laughs> But we're already nearly 10 minutes into the waiting for a game stream. So I don't exactly know how much longer I'm going to wait. Although I just heard a noise. Oh, I got an Agricola. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's not looking good. This Agricola number has gone down. This table finally has a player, but it's like eight minutes ago. This Caverna table is not filling at all. Um, There's a little bit of talk about this lately, and I kind of agree, like, BJ adding so many games is great. I don't I don't think I want to dispute that, but gosh, does it make finding any individual table that much harder. Um, now we're close to a different Agricola game. Arena usually pops in 2 to 5, well, 5 to 10. Well, <laughs> we'll see. I've been in the queue 10 minutes already. Um, so... <laughs> 
I, that is exciting to hear that the arena queue. Well, okay, my. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Anyhow, my point is yes. The more people that keep getting added, uh, into or the more games that keep getting added to BGA, ultimately great. I don't think it's wrong. I think BGA absolutely should do it. But gosh, it kind of makes finding games in any individual community a bit weaker. At a certain level, there has got to be a, actually a, a point where BJ has too many games for how many players are on it, and it would essentially kill, like, it'll slowly kill off the real-time player base. And it, it could be actually kind of fast, right? Because if, if people stop being able to find real-time games for things they care about, they start leaving, and, like, it, it, it could accelerate. I don't think we're at that point, and I don't have an easy solution for what you would do anyhow. But gosh, it uh, certainly ruins the fun of BGA when uh, you just are sitting around for games and can't get any that you care about. And then you see them add more games. <laughs> but you don't think people start leaving? I don't really think we're at that point yet either. But I mean, again, there there's literally got to be a point where this starts to happen. Um. You, 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 there's definitely got to be a point where you could dilute your site with too many options. And again, what's the solution though? Like not add games that people care about. I don't know if that's actually makes sense either, but it's, it's tricky. Admittedly, BGA hit really nice days during the pandemic when there were so many people playing and they had like half the games, but they've added so many games in the last like two years, uh, partly through that agreement with Asmodee, which again, I think is great for the site, but I definitely used to get games very quickly uh, in a lot of things. And uh, it's progressively been getting worse over the last year or so, but whatever, uh, Lumen, Lumen's closing out the edges, but is going to lose here to, yeah, this guy. I don't, again, I think he had a rough game here. I wasn't watching that close, but we did get to watch him play an entire uh, can't stop game and why well, yeah, a 10 rounder. Well, okay, he, I mean, it's not his fault that he lost, but yeah, like just looking at these stats, this guy was way like 10 rounds and only, and only rolled 32 times. Like too timid, probably should have been more aggressive, but managed to win because Lumen couldn't win in nine turns, which isn't normally something you should expect. It's not a long-term winning can't stop strat, but sometimes it works. Anyhow, um, are we expecting more Grick cards soon? No, no, I don't think we're expecting more Agricola cards on BGA. I don't. I, I. 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 literally don't think we're expecting more cards to hit BGA. I think that's really the point we're at. The remaining cards that haven't been programmed are generally hard to program, which is why they got left off the list in the first place. So like, there's very diminishing returns in trying to implement them. Like, each card is that much harder than the last to put in, so it takes that much more time. Uh, maybe someday it happens, I guess, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't really expect it. Uh. And I mean, someday I guess new card expansions like might happen physically, which I should follow up on that. That's a good question, Fofo. I know they were focusing on Agricola 15 this year, but they definitely had reached out to the Play Agricola community about actually publishing player made cards again. And I really hope they still want to do that. But I should I should prod that on the Play Agricola forums. But if we get new stuff like physically published, which to be clear, like probably wouldn't be happening until S end of next year. So like literally like a year from now, we might get new cards published. At that point, I could see them adding those to BGA. Um, but yeah, I, I don't expect any new cards. There are a lot of unimplemented. I realize there's a lot of unimplemented ones. I, I, I But my point is like, again, they got left off the list because they were harder to program. So who's going to actually go do that? I have no idea. Uh, but hey, we have an Agricola table uh, arena mode. Uh, we do have Bulldozer, so I'm going to wait just another second or two before uh, actually going in, because obviously you've been hanging out, which is totally fine, but I'll see you around, Bulldozer. Uh, from what you see, people played Agricola and left, just left altogether, not switched to another game. 
Sure, sure, sure. So, I mean, you're not here anymore. But so here's my response. The site is always going to have people that just leave. Um, the, the, the issue with adding so many new games is that even when you get new players, they don't necessarily pick Agricola because they're picking other games, which is fine because it presumably means they're picking games they like more. And so, like, again, on what level do we value people getting to pick games they like slightly more? And at what point do we get to a level where nobody's enjoying the site because they can't find real-time games for the stuff they want and care about the most? We're obviously not there, so, like, we probably all just need to suck up slightly longer wait times because that's probably better than the alternative. Uh, but yeah, some level of me is a little sad that we keep adding new games. But also, like, for an example, admittedly, ever since Agricola got added, I play way less Terra Mystic on here. So, like, I'm part of the problem it, that the Terra Mystic community is having. Uh, but if Agricola didn't exist, I'd be playing a lot of Terra Mystic, and I'd still be plenty happy. And then maybe Q times are better in Terra Mystic land. So, it's a tough problem. Ban Agricola problem solved. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right, we got first seat. Bulldozer's in front of us. So that's the only slight sad thing. I think these other people are a bit weaker, but uh, we'll go peak. Uh, but I see a pretty easy cultivator. Uh, animal feeder can be a slightly funky day labor combo, but I don't really want to go for that. Feed. Oh, also, we have field fences cultivator. I mean, this is too. This is too easy, right? We just plow a bunch, and then those plows help us fence easier. Uh, yeah, that's, it's gotta be right. Somebody's gonna go animal feeder for day labor stuff. Somebody might clay carrier. If plowman comes back, plowman with cultivator is actually pretty good. Uh, sheepwalker might come back. Somebody might have a flail. Fine. Chicken coop. There is a dwelling plan. Dwelling plan's kind of useful to remember. Uh, but nothing else super here. Uh, Gonzo! Hello, friend. Oh, my God. Thanks for the seven-month streak and, indeed, the return. I'm hoping to stream a little more coming up, by the way, but we'll see. Um, anyhow, how was Europe? It was excellent. My vacation was really good. I had a great time. My partner and I really enjoyed a lot of stuff. I feel pretty refreshed and all that. It was, yeah, it was just really good. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, I see a greeting plan, and I want to plow a bunch anyhow. So greeting plan is like, hey, if you get six fields, you can get five points. Um, so feels like it's gotta be a greeting plan. Uh, basket weavers. Okay. Uh, oh, th there's a thresher. Um, thresher is pretty fun with this combo actually too. Cultivator thresher. Probably got to go for that. I don't really believe in stock protector much. I know Lumen kind of likes it. There is some good stuff here. Um, but yeah, it's probably just got to be Greeting Plan Thresher. Try to sow some grain fields early, use it for some food, and hope they clear by the end of the game. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, okay. Uh, you can't stick around. You have a small child to attend. You wanted to say, hey, I'm looking forward. Yeah, I'm hoping... Look, I'm hoping to stream a little Caverna coming up. I'm hoping to get back to some Terra Mystica fan factions. I still want to do Agricola. So we're trying to get some more streams. Hope Caregiver and Brotherly Love. Nice. Uh, yeah, I guess that is interesting. But uh, Anyhow, Sivir, you started playing Agricola at BGA because you went looking for Terra Mystica streams and found me a nerd keep. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, Agricola is a great game. So, I mean, like, I, again, like, I think ultimately it's good. Agricola has a healthy enough community. Terra Mystica still does, too. Like, it's all going to work out. But, uh, okay, now we see a bunch of other good cards. Uh, food Basket is quite good. Just get a grand and a thing. Bread Paddle might be the best card here. Extra Bakes if I actually can get grain in the ground. Is there any way that I can get Thresher and Cultivator up in the first two rounds, plow a bit, and actually sow some crops? Like, conceivably, that is possible. I could get a bunch of early grain fields that have a bread paddle to uh, leverage the bakes. That actually could happen, and that would be very good. So I think the, I think the opening is that I play Cultivator, I plow. I hope to get Ock in round two to play Thresher, I plow. Round three, I plow, and then round four, I sow. I get an extra grain on sow because of Thresher. It costs food. 
So I might have to take a food action too. So like this is a kind of intensive stage one. It's two ox, three plows, a sow, and a food action. Which means I have exactly one other action. Ooh, that's a bit gross. <laughs> Glad I'm not doing Caverna. Yes. Uh, thanks so much for the raid, Lumen. I heard the end of your stream, uh, including the bashing of Caverna, which is totally fair. I, I don't blame you. Uh, but yeah, I, I was just looking for a game. I had multiple... I had a bunch of games like waiting to happen, and we got an Arena Agricola game, which I probably should update my stream title then, because now we actually know what we're playing. Uh, anyhow, Aqua-wise, um, Roof Baluster is always pretty good. I've definitely seen some silly Outskirts games. Um, but part of why I like... Roof Baluster here is because I'm trying to play these early and probably am trying to plant grain early. So if I'm trying to do those things early, I think having a more like late game mock is good. And if somebody else is doing outskirts, there's extra read in the game, which is fine by me. Oof. I don't think I can run nutrition this game because I don't have an actual veg source. But it's mildly tempted. But it's probably going to just be a game catcher here. Potato harvester would be kind of fun too if I actually had veg. But I don't. Uh, it's... So Gardener's Knife is like a bit of food, which is neat. But yeah, I don't need the grain. I'm running Thresher. So this is probably just Woodpile, even though Woodpile doesn't do a lot either. I think this is probably Woodpile Game Catcher. Um, I don't think there's enough in this draft that anybody can actually abuse Nutrition. Consultant's fine, Potato Harvester's fine, but I think Game Catcher having another kind of like late game mock could work out quite nicely here. I mean, my game plan generally, I think, is plow a bunch and abuse this field fence screening plant later. Like, I don't know, the game plan generally still seems solid here. Like, I should just be plowing these six spaces. Yeah, I, I literally should aim to plow these six spaces this game is part of the game plan. Try to get an oven. I'm going to be a bit slow on rooms. So like ideally we just hit like a late growth game where I get rewarded for just doing a bunch of farming stuff during stage one. But. All right. If I do free ock cultivator, I plow. I ock thresher, I plow. I probably have to food plow. And then I do something like two read into so. And then I'm at three wood, two reed. I have three grain fields. Yeah, see, this is still very strong if it works. Like, admittedly, I I'm not going to be great on oven tempo at all, though. So maybe I have to take reedstone foods, which slow me down a little bit. Yeah, that's the kind of tricky part, but... I mean, we'll see. I, I We'll see. Also, other people could actually try plowing early, and that would <laughs> that would ruin me a little. Although I could just go for two. Baking in a hearth is fine, maybe. Uh, also, it appears this game's not actually happening. <sighs> okay, I mean, the guy's actually literally... Well, okay, he's had a bunch of timer penalties recently, but... I have a member for like almost a year. But I I'm not I'm not sitting around for a super long game. Would I like to abandon this game? Uh no. No, I'm not abandoning. I'm kicking them. <laughs> I, I I want them to get a points... I, I, I'm i not not letting them have a points penalty here. Like, they started playing the game. It's not a case if they didn't know this queued up. Like, I... I force people to take penalties. Like, call me the jerk if you want, but their rep will easily repair itself in the future if they're actually a player you can trust. 
And if they're not a player you can trust, you need them to actually get penalized and not have people let them off the hook. So this is just what I do. I won't actually give them a red thumb necessarily, but... Sometimes players new to BJ take longer than draft. Again, they've been here for like nearly a year and they played however long. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just forced it. Like, they were rated like a 450s. It's not like they don't know what they were doing. Like, it, it seems pretty clear they probably just disconnected. Like, but I don't know for sure. So whatever. I Again, if, if, they, if they frequently are disconnecting, that's also something the player base ought to know though. Like, nobody wants to sit around and play with a person that, is it reliable? So, you're not saying it's wrong to cancel. Felt like it could. I, I doubt it was. I doubt it was intentional. I, I I really doubt that. Like it's totally reasonable to just let them off the hook there. But yeah, like I don't know. It's just who I. It, it's just tend, tends to be my policy that the reputation will easily wipe itself out if it's not actually a pattern of behavior. Like you can live with a leave penalty on your profile and it's fine. I've had a leave penalty on my profile at various points too, but they go away after 60 days. So I actually have no penalties in my recent game. So that's interesting. I actually usually have a timer penalty or two. Uh, okay. Anyhow, um, bronze two, baby. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, um, with a hundred percent rep, you usually just abandon. Yeah, it's fair, but. It's because I've played so little the last 60 days. I mean, that is partly true. I have only 75 games, right? Um, is what it said. Yeah, 75 games, and like half of those are can't stop. So now that Lumen's rated, I can switch to Caverna. I mean, I, I don't think I can switch to Caverna. This is what part of what I'm complaining about. Like, there's there's not tables. I can't just play Caverna. I, I sat waiting for 10 minutes for a game already. Like, I can't just get games. Uh, am I still willing to play Agricola? God, it's already like five o'clock here. We're almost half an hour into the stream. I actually don't think, unfortunately, that I'm up for playing one here. I, I, I should be streaming some tomorrow. I'll probably stream some Sunday. But yeah, I don't think I actually have... Like, part of the problem with streaming Convert at the moment, too, is like you often get actual beginners that take freaking forever on their turns. Partly because they're actually le learning the interface, partly because they're learning the rules, and partly because Caverna's adventuring system leaves way too many opportunities to, like, think and mess up your sequencing. Um, so, anyhow, Caverna games also can drive me nuts with people that take forever on their turns, anyhow. So I definitely don't want to deal with that right now. I'm mildly tempted to steal Agricola, because it's probably a 90-minute game, but... I might just wind up playing some other stuff. You got kicked three times one day because you missed the game pop. You got used to a fact that you need to confirm on normal games. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's unfortunate. But... Uh, which, by the way, like, I, I, as I said on this, like, I'm a little more lenient about agreeing to abandon when people, like, literally don't take an action at all in the game because, like, that's much more obvious they might have just missed that the game popped. But in situations like that, where like we're a few turns into the game and you clearly knew the game was going on and then you abandoned, um, that's when I usually don't let people just get away with no penalty. Like, again, also, again, I, I it's partly because I don't view penalties as that big of a thing. Like, OK, he has one leave penalty on his profile. Fine. Like, it's not a big deal. His rep is still 90 percent and it'll easily repair itself if he's not actually a problem player. So. But. You don't understand why Arena doesn't just hide the names and enable confirm. I agree with that. It's very confusing. I, I totally agree with that. I, it's a complaint that's been in the forums a lot. I have no idea why BGA doesn't put a confirm on Arena games. Uh, but as usual, the admins don't seem to listen to that many people all that much. Also, I guess to be fair, like there's a ton of games out there where you can click the Arena button and you get a game in 30 seconds, right? Like... All the really popular games, like the, some of the most popular games, don't take long at all. So, uh, all right, is there a four player Stone Age table? There is not. Okay, I could join this Agricola game, but okay, 70 multiple 70% rep players. Um, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just not, not gonna do that. Um, whoa, 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 what is this? Who, who is this and how are they an Agricola master and they play four player games? 
I clearly haven't been around. What? What? A 751? What? What is, what is, what? Who are all these people? What? Some of the additional action space players? Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, additional spaces. Okay. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's a very different population. Want to join and take their free load? Well, I mean, if they're... I mean, to be clear, if they're rated a 751, they're actually very good, right? Like, they're very good at this format. And I'm not sure how good I am at the additional spaces format anymore. So, like, I definitely don't think it's free low. Uh, I think it's a part trap. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know by how much, but... I'm not sure they're that good, but they're pretty good. Like, you don't just accidentally get to 751 ELO. Now, the fact that there are multiple players in the 700s, uh, I definitely agree they're overrated. If they were, like, in, like, yeah, this, this clearly doesn't quite align to my sense of ELO in the, in the world of the people that actually play four-player games. Like... They're clearly a bit overrated, but my point is, like, to get a 751, they still are very good at the format they're playing. How great? Am I still going to be slightly better than them? Maybe. So, I guess, is there a decent proposition? I might gain ELO, sure, but I don't know if it's quite free. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, uh, hey, what's this game? Oh, the bad player left? Oh, no, but we still have a 72%. Why are we at 72%? We have eight leave penalties on 107 games. Yeah, see, I'm not touching that. I can't touch that. Uh, okay, anyhow. Do, do, do. do I think I can take them on? Blah, blah, I gotta get back on the grind. Yeah, a brain dead hamster could win in additional spaces. <laughs> uh, probably less variance on additional spaces. Also, no, no ban list. Oh, my God, no ban list. You're right. Oh, I didn't even note that. Oh my god, we're playing no ban list? That's way too... I'm, yeah, I can't... Well, oh, well, sorry, that game's not... This game also doesn't have a ban list, though. Or maybe that's what you were talking about. This game, this table has a player that's likely to quit and has no ban list. Alright, I'm getting way too distracted. Let's just go touch a couple can't stop games and end this. Play a three-player with limited bulldozer. Uh, the additional spaces one also didn't have a ban list. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. I, I have no desire to touch that. That's gross. Play in the game is his ooeyness intended. Uh, I mean, that's like partly true, but partly not, right? Because all the additional cards that got added uh, already got through the filter of what Lumen told them would get banned. And so they didn't even program some things that would get banned. Like, I can't imagine it would be that hard to program Shaving Horse, just as an example. Uh, but I suspect we probably would ban Shaving Horse, yeah. So. Anyhow, um, yeah, I, I think I'm probably just going to play a bit of Can't Stop now. Yeah, that's probably what we're doing. It's a little disappointing, but let's, let's, we're... Oh, I'm one step away from oh no from Diamond League. Okay, we're our our stream title is now grinding for uh can't stop elite. All right, that's what we, this has turned into. It's sad, but it's true. We're we're just gonna go for can't stop elite league here. A quickola, you'll play a fast four player. Uh, I don't have any Seven Wonders games. Uh, oh, I probably could have played Seven Wonders. I haven't played Seven Wonders in a long time though, because I really don't like the new edition, and they I just see lots of new edition tables usually, and I'm a curmudgeon. Uh, all right, fives and eights are good. Uh, awkward. Five eight nine or five eight ten. I actually don't know what's better. My instincts are that the tens are actually slightly better, just because even numbers are good. 
but that's actually a small spot that I don't instantly know the answer. Now I'm going to have to go look it up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. A lot of fives. It's good enough first turn. Uh, I got to go look up a can't stop odds table. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. All right, we had a five eight nine versus a five eight ten. Okay, the five eight ten was slightly worse probability wise. It actually interesting. Yeah. Uh, here take the twelve six. Yeah, twelve six. Oh, gross! I'll take double tens, and I might just stop. Not getting great numbers here. Uh, all right. You'll only play four player old edition though. Oh yeah, I okay. Oh wow, we're okay. Ooh, do do do. Seven Wonders got talked a lot. Seven Wonders Arena is five player right now. Oh god, I'm not touching that. I I don't like five player Seven Wonders really. I I at, at least not enough to grind it. You love the new edition art. Think the gameplay has pros and cons. Yeah, that's fair. Uh. Five players worse than four. I agree with that. Your usual gaming group at the time when you played lots of Seven player Wonders was five players. I mean, to be clear, I think five player Seven Wonders is fine. I just much prefer four player. You only play four player old edition. I will play three player or four player old edition. That's, yeah, that's where I'm at. But seven player Seven Wonders is too chaotic. Totally agreed. You don't know how you think the balance of seven players is okay at all there's no draft control yeah totally agreed with that lumen I, I it there it not only does not only is there no draft control in seven player seven wonders you literally don't even see one of the packs so like you can wind up in really weird situations okay uh this is an interesting spot I could take the 12 and then hope to roll one more 5 and just close out the 5s. It's probably better just to take the 7, try to roll a bunch of 7s and 8s, and eventually get a 5 and end the turn. But there is a chance that I roll just a 5 and then have to stop. In which case, now that was a pretty lame turn because I didn't really make that much progress. So, not very happy with my position here. My opponent is like... Yeah, he's he's doing very well on 8s and 12s and 4s. And if he caps all those columns, he wins. So I basically have to stop him on one of those columns in order to win the game. So I think I'm going to try to just steal the... the I, think, I think this is steal the 8s now is the plan for this turn. We're going to just take every 8 we see and just try to steal the 8s. Uh, in which case, I mean, we'll have a very good shot to win. But and I bust, so... Uh, all right, do 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 do. Seven Wonders Arena goes three four five four. Yeah, I I mean hypothetically, Seven Wonders Arena is supposed to rotate, but just like all rotating systems, the gurus actually decide what happens, right? So like, it's very weird. Uh, five player Seven Wonders is neat because the military is unstable. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, four player is very annoying since you're not interacting with. At seven players, you kind of have a lot of those not interacting. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Anyhow, uh, my opponent is one step away from fours and twelves, so this is looking very bad. Uh, it's looking like we're gonna lose this game. Uh, okay. So yeah, in order to win this game, I think I basically gotta just actually roll like mad here and cap some columns. I don't love pushing super hard here, but I have to. Uh, you think you could suggest a rotation to get that voted in to have keep the arena format continue the rotation? Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, all right. Our opponent is now very close to winning, so I think as obnoxious as it is, I think I have to cap sixes and sevens this turn. So to cap... Oh, or I could try to cap 10s along with something. Okay. So I, I literally think I have to cap two columns, though. 
and I'm just gonna bust, which is fair. Um, and yeah, my, there's my opponent getting the win. All right, these things happen. My opponent played pretty well. Yeah, he's rated pretty well. He never busted. Also, he yeah okay. I mean, no no shame in losing to a guy that won in six turns without busting. Not a lot you can do about that. Play ten games simultaneously. I mean. Oh, I have 10 different games going for the first time ever. Interesting. Uh, okay, losing that game was bad for our can't stop grind. A quickly trading mode, any player count? Oh, sure, sure. If that's actually a thing, I'll do that. You've never seen a game between us? Oh, we've played a bit in the past, but I mostly stay out of his games nowadays. All right, sure. Yeah, I'll I'll do a trading mode Agricola table. How fast is the quick load? As fast as you can play. So the game should take about a half hour, probably yeah, about a half hour. I'm gonna have to change all my confirm settings, so that part's gonna be a mess. But all right, do 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 competitive disabled included included draft seven out of eight ox with miners at the same time live scoring sure well no lumen and I kind of like no live scoring no live scoring in a quick is very confusing you definitely don't have time to count this will be great uh all right I'm inviting a lumen uh fifteen minutes if it's a tour God I really don't know how to do tours. Gordon is in? Good. We need we need at least... Oh, God, is Gordon not a friend? Oh, no, there he is. All right. Ideally, we have one other from the chat. Uh, otherwise, who else could I bug? Who's online? Who has any idea what this format is? Probably nobody. Oh, oh, wait. Deranged. Is Deranged actually around? Oh, Thrall. Yeah, duh. Good call. There you go, Lumen. Invert Mark. All right, yeah. Mark. Um, there we go. Sweet. Okay. Do it three players for maximum confusion? No. All right. Uh, sweet. I think we're ready to go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, yeah. Estimated duration, 108 minutes. How much can we beat it by? <laughs> All right. The name of the game is Speed. So we got to click stuff fast. All right. Do, 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 do. Clicking stuff fast. I see a swing plow and a lover. Uh, do, 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 do. Wheel plow, swing plow. Net. No, good enough. This can't be that bad. All right. Swing plow, lover stood out. Uh, 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 pet broker has got to be okay. Uh, although maybe mushroom collector in order to run the lover, maybe, maybe, but no, we're thinking too much. Uh, uh, God, none of these are good. Why are none? Of, oh, fodder chamber, sure. Fodder chamber is reasonably good. Uh, do, 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 uh, patch caretaker for some, a crop? No, that's no good. None of these are good. Half timbered? I don't think I can run half timbered, but I don't want anybody else having half timbered. I don't even know what some of these are. Grain and day laborers occupied. I get a veg? Sure, maybe that works. I don't know. That's probably not the right pick, but whatever. Uh, little stick knitter, I don't need that. Corn scoop might be okay for me, actually. I don't have a grain source yet, right? I don't know if I do. Oh, I do have a grain source. Sheep provider, sure. Uh, okay, maybe I don't. Whoops, can't undo it now. Uh, okay, pub owner actually is a mild way to get some grain sometimes. Oh, but, oh, wait, there's a milk jug here, too? Oh, my God, amazing. Okay, I love milk jug food. Excellent. Uh, pub owner or... Buyer, buyer's got to be better. I have a fodder chamber with buyer. Fodder chamber, buyer, actually get fences up. Do a three-room game. Maybe a two-room game with lover, actually. Uh, Woodcutter's got to be okay, actually. The toilet's maybe fine here. Uh, okay. 
And uh, sure, tree guard actually has words on it, right? Uh, how do what crackweeder also has words? I don't even know what it does. All right, uh, I need to turn off animations. Uh, all right, auto whoops, auto organize enabled without confirm and turn confirmation disabled. Whatever I click happens. Uh, we'll just RSF. Oh, wait, RSF only makes sense if I'm building a room. Okay, never mind. I'm building a room, guys. Um, it turns out that after all that, I forgot what I said I was going to do. And so... Oh, wait, what? Oops. No. Uh, other player board's next to the board. And my card size is just wrong? I don't know. Things seem slightly wrong here. Uh, oh, I don't want to plow. Two wood. Um... Yeah, just take room parts. Take room parts. Chain float from Gordon. Cool. Okay. I eventually swing plow, but that's fine. What am I doing aquas before that? I guess pet broker allows me to breed some sheep. Oh, no, I want sheep provider out eventually, too. Sheep provider, pet broker. Eventually, probably just want a hearth to feed. Yeah. Uh, all right. I definitely want sheep provider out, though. I want pet broker. I want buyer. Uh, do I want woodcutter out? I guess, actually, I might not hate playing Woodcutter this game, too. Three room lovers, correct, and 75%. I think that's probably true, anyhow, too. Uh, getting enough food for the lovers by no means clear at all yet, by the way. Uh, I'll just take two more wood. It's got to be okay. Ooh, two clay gets taken again. Interesting. So some fight for the fireplace, potentially. Lumen has a reed belt. Oh, Lumen also has an animal teacher. Cool. Okay. Uh, buyer comes stage two to three. Buyer comes late, if at all. Uh, it's late sheep, so that's a little less good too. After lover, yeah, it has to happen. Buyer might not happen at all, I think. Uh, the swing plow is going to be fueled by other stuff. I might actually play woodcutter though. Uh, I can't take RSF. I think I am playing woodcutter actually. I know I know I normally hate on this card, but it's partly it's partly just prereq to make swing plow happen, and I need a lot of wood anyhow because now I'm building a room, I'm swing plowing, and I need defense. So woodcutter is eventually quite a bit of room. My room tempo is not great from that plan, but like my tempo on getting swing plow is a bit better, which I think is kind of important eventually. I will definitely take this wood pile if I get it, but Gordon's probably taking it. Yeah. But I still might just take wood here and get food back. Uh, oh, no, there's quite a bit of food pressure. I don't love taking a three food action, but I don't hate it. With late sheep and with multiple people needing food, I think this is fine. In fast games, just cutting wood is maybe a good strategy. I mean, that part's mildly true, too. Like, <laughs> just, yeah, just being able to focus on what I really need here. Most people are getting room parts pretty quickly here, which is good. Uh, RSF is a very good action for me, but I'm not sure anybody else needs it as much. And also just a great wood action is always good. There's a four clay, like either I get RSF or I get one of these clay actions back most of the time here. And all of that looks very good for me. Um, correct carpenter lumens hungry here. I don't know what he's going to do about it. Oh, foreign aid. Yeah. Okay. Lumens get a foreign aid. Cool. Uh, it looks like I get RSF. Nope, I don't. Gordon's going to take it. Okay, weird. Uh, I'm just going to take four clay and then unlock it a hearth. Um, I can just hearth next round. Ooh, we're going to leave six wood to Lumen. Gross. Really don't like that. But Wreck Carpenter also builds. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like going to be the last to build here, but I think I'm okay with where we're at still. Yeah, I think this is fine. Automatically pay harvest. Pay automatic. I didn't have that on because like, I'm a fool. But we have to auto pay around here. We're in a speed game. Okay, I need RSF. Gordon presumably start players to lock in growth. Yeah, late growth looks... Late growth would be great. At least not early growth is good. Late growth could be very good for me though because Gordon might squat and then I actually would get to build. I anticipate Lumen builds this round. Uh, oh, I said I was going to build a hearth too. Shit. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I lost the hearth. I don't like that. Food is still tough. Yeah. 
Well, actually, somebody's going to take sheep. Wow, collector for Lumen. Interesting. Collector, animal teacher, foreign aid collector, and this tree guard. I don't totally know what this is. But I should be able to just clay oven later. Um, I should be able to just clay oven because this sheep provider should provide me, like, food is tight. Like, two sheep gets taken, I get a grand, and then I just build a clay oven. Yeah, I, I agree, Bulldozer. I think it's a clay oven. I don't love clay oven as the answer. I don't. That's not my favorite answer, but I think it's probably what has to happen. I have a corn scoop, too. Maybe eventually milk jug. It is late growth. That's good for me. I sneak into growing second now. This round is build room and clay oven. Whoa, Gordon's not... Oh, okay. I was going to say Gordon's not starting, but there, there he goes. Education bonus. That's cute. I gotta build. Oh, actually, I don't know if I have to build here, but I guess somebody could stables. Oh, wait, no, Lumen didn't... Wait, Lumen didn't build last round. Oh, my God, I could have built last round? What was I... Oh, my God, team. <laughs> what was I doing last round? Oh, my God. Little stick knitter, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I get fed more grand? Hell, yeah. Oh, what was I doing? Uh, also, do I go for a stone oven now? Yeah, I took two plus one wood rather than build. It's, um, I think stone oven is good now. Yeah, I should just aim for Reno stone oven. Uh, 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 I don't know if that's true. I don't know if this is true at all. The problem with Reno stone oven is I don't actually have a thing for milk jug anymore, which I kind of wanted. You hope bullet a quickly because a thing. I mean, look, it's kind of a thing. Uh, Lumen's gonna fence and then start doing collector things. Cool. This is a very hard game to be doing in Aquicola, by the way. Uh, okay, my next round is start player. Or wait, do I have to start player? I don't even have to start player. Oh my god. I don't have to start player because of Little Stick Knitter. I do not have to start player. Lumen can't build a room. Nobody else is building a room. So yeah, Gordon's gonna grow. I don't have to start. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can take six clay? Sure. Do I need six clay? The uncertain actually. That might have been totally nonsensical. Uh, yeah, that that might have been nonsensical, but I did it. So whatever. All right, we're gonna run with the stone oven. Um. Run a well is available. I realize well is available, but stone stone oven gets me much faster to lover, and lover is going to be very good this game still. At least I think lover is going to be very good this game. Gordon's going to get to open a sick wood stack. Uh, I could take a ton of stone next round, but that might be well taking a ton of stone maybe isn't that much of a distraction. I still have a sneaky little half timbered house, although three point well, and I have a fodder chamber, although I don't know how good fodder chamber is going to. Be at this point either. I do need to play another Ock eventually. I'm playing Lover, and then I have a Swing Plow. Oh, lovely. Okay, so next round I grow. I have a Corn Scoop, which is also going to be very good uh, in order to generate food. Yeah, this looks good. This is indeed the Mythical Quickla. Do not try this at home. Yeah. Do not try this at home. Grow into Grow. I have to open Grow. Oh, I do have to open Grow, yeah. I mean... This player is going to just grow via little stick, but I do have to, I have to grow because they'll block me otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Can I grow into grow? Oh god, I can grow into grow. Oh my god, yeah, never mind. That's, I, I just double grow this round. That's fantastic. Grow into grow, uh, and then corn scoop is how we'll get out of the food trouble in the f anyhow. Well, and we're we're gonna need fed more grain anyhow. We're we're gonna need fed quite a bit of grain. Uh so yeah, this this is looking pretty good. Three room lover strong. Yeah, you would grow into stone if it's there. I think the stone is mostly a distraction for me. I, I actually really just don't need it at the moment. It's it's totally fine to ignore. Uh Lumen's getting into the room race, that makes sense. It's fine. Growing here has to be too good. Uh, Gordon can have the stone. And he takes it, yeah. Congrats, buddy, on the wildness. All right. Cool. Uh, we got the double grow. Uh, 
Teal started with a carrot museum. That's not really needed, but whatever. Uh, I want to get my swing plow down. I want to start taking... I want to start... I kind of want to... The dream next round is to probably swing plow, plow, take grain, so bake. If we grow so fast, we can have time for buyer, then stone's not a problem at all. Yeah, that part's true too. Uh, yeah, I think the game plan here is start player swing plow and then hope to get plow, grain, so bake. Nobody's so baking this round. Somebody might plow after I start player swing plow, but I'm still going to try it. With stone oven, we should... Stone oven will let us feed. I mean, it's a little awkward because we have to take, like, grain action into so bake, which is why I want to get fields going so I can actually put stuff in them. Also, milk jug is still gonna happen. Um, milk jug very much should be happening here. Also, how does this card work? I can no longer play this card when any player has five or more cards in front of them. Oh, so yeah, this is... <laughs> this is long gone. But, uh, I can play milk jug easily, at least. Uh... To help ease some late game feeding. Wow, I'm being left a huge wood stack. And I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it like a chump. Ignoring the wood is very dubious, but whatever. Red's ready to grow. Oh, nope, they're not. Yeah. BMW from Teal. That's fine. Well, still, nobody wants the wood. Oh my god. I'm, yeah. <laughs> this is wild. Am I going to be left six wood? No way I get left six wood, right? No, there's too many actions. People are getting their food sorted. Oh, Gordon's food sucks. Wow, people are so hungry. I mean, I'm hungry too, and that's why I'm ignoring. Uh, <laughs> that's why I am also... God, swing plow is slow. Why did I take a swing plow and a quick on a team? Too slow. Why? Why would you take a swing plow and a quick on? What a nonsense plan. Gordon's renovated to stone and is getting the well and has a manservant. I see. Mans okay, conservator. Oh, wait, joinery. Wait, where's the well? Wait, we took a joinery instead of the well? Oh, my God, I don't understand. Um, okay. Grain into Sobic. We hope that Teal's not going to three wood, but Teal should three wood. Oh, my God, we get left six wood. All right. This is the best team. Uh, we can only sow one grain, but... Hey, whatever. Sowing one grain at least accelerates us. And next round, we can take grain seeds and sow bake one more time and then get out of all this. Um, we'll, we'll power through all this. I'm so sad I took that six clay action, though. That six clay action looks so bad. I actually don't need milk jug at all. Why did I take a six clay action, Tim? <laughs> I got distracted by the big clay pile. It's a classic get distracted by the big clay pile you don't need moment. Happens all the time, but I did it. All right, we just gather wood so we can fence. Gathering enough wood so we can fence is very important. Uh, the animals next round are, yeah, like if cow flips, fencing next round would be amazing, but I don't, I'm not going to quite have the right amount to fence, but... Like, with Lumen doing collector things, you know, he's just not taking animals off the... And Animal Teacher. Like, he doesn't need to take animals off the board. So there's a lot of extra animals in the game. Although there's a lot of hunger in the game, too, as we've seen. There's a lot of hunger. I might still play Half Timbered. Mike check moment? Indeed, it is a Mike check moment. Uh... Taking a huge clay stack you don't really need is very much a Mike Jake moment, but it's fine. And I, I maybe I still play a half timbered house. That is theoretically possible, but uh, I definitely need to plow one more time. Fully use the swing plow, but we'll get to that. Lumen's taking more wood. Probably trying to build and grow. Um, I'm just gonna take wood here. I have a wood cutter. Taking two wood plus a wood's reasonable wood cutter, and I can just fence thirteen here. Um, fence thirteen's good enough, right? I can just build stables later. Um, I also could take grain into Sobake, although... No, I should fence. I should just fence. Because maybe I could take the sheep. Sheep provider works even when I do it? Oh my god, yeah. Sheep provider is so good, team. Alright, we can just build stables later. Because uh, we're not done taking wood. 
I don't think. We have a lot of actions, and uh, our farm is like rapidly coming together here. All right, we do get to take sheep, sweet. Cool, I will do so. Bookshelf for Lumen, that's cool. Lumen's adding so much wood with this tree gardener, I forgot about that. Ooh, and a groom for Gordon, cool. All right, cool, cool. I do this, get some sheep and some grain, sweet. Next round, I try to take two pigs. Oh, I, I'm actually a star player, I don't even try. I just take two pigs to open next round. Is there still a well just chilling there, by the way? There is still just a well chilling, isn't there? It's crazy. Oh, also, am I going to starve this round? Wait a sec. Am I going to starve if I don't so bake? Uh, kind of. Uh, is there a clay oven left? Wait, there's a clay oven left. Okay, I can, I can actually clay oven. There's ways to survive this if we have to. Uh, Alright, we're not getting plow, but that's okay. I might get three stone here. Do I take three stone? Okay, I don't get three stone. Uh, it's I'm gonna take two grain into so big. Nobody's gonna so big block me. Yeah. Okay. I do want clay oven. I think still ultimately though. Sheep expert. Sheep expert getting some bonus point and some food. That's cool. That's a good card for Lumen. Gordon starts. That's okay by me. Food basket. Ooh, food basket's a good card. Uh, okay, I definitely need to so bake, and then I probably just take. Probably just take one cow. I was maybe gonna take RSF so I could clay oven, but. Oh, actually, wait. Why am I taking one cow and I can just take two? Oh, I can't take RSF anymore. I I guess I could take two stone. I'm just getting two cows next round, right? I mean, it looks that way. The well finally goes. Cool. I'm going to just claim I get two cows. Gordon always takes cows with his bucket. Nope. Single cow gets taken. Okay. Nope. Nope. We all did. Because uh, we need food. Okay. I don't think Gordon opens two cows, right? Gordon opens Plowso or Family Growth. Why is he... I mean... I guess I really need to take this plow space soon, so admittedly greeting two cows is maybe silly, but whatever, I greeted two cows. He takes grow, but he takes two cows over plow so. That might be true. But whatever, if I don't get two cows, then I just plow. Like, I think it's okay if I don't get, like, if I don't actually get a pair of cows, fine, but. I'm going to try to greed two cows. Because I think there's a decent chance I do, and also it's bullet. So, honestly, I can't even tell you what's really happening. There is a clay oven, I can tell you that. Clay oven is fantastic for me this round. I have all this grain that I just can bake away. I don't think we're fodder chamber in this game, to be honest. Although, maybe I should still. I guess I probably still am supposed to try to fodder chamber and plow and so... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I, maybe I am fodder chambering still, actually. Fodder, fodder chamber looks reasonably good. I guess so. I'm breeding all these animals that I can't eat. Especially if I get two cows, actually. Fodder chamber looks very good. I have to get stables then. But fodder chamber will be like a six-point card or something, which is definitely worth building towards. Um, I still think clay oven is very worth building towards, too. Um, growth flips. So you got to imagine Gordon is growing and I'm taking the cows. But if it happens in reverse, it happens in reverse. But it doesn't. But this is fine. Uh, the only problem is it doesn't know how to reorganize. Oh, animal management so slow. Well, why did you take it from there, you dumb, dumb game? Okay. Okay. Uh, I do need to take wood into stables. And so, yeah, I might actually just take w this round at this point might just be wood, wood, stables. Yeah, I think I am just taking Woodwind Stables here. The l slowest player loses automatically. I mean, that's broadly usually the agreement. My general feeling is that you lose if you... Oh, I'm also going to have to start player for Plow. That's gross. I'm going to have to start player for Plow team. 
Why did Teal plow so much already? If they have a wheel plow, they're playing. That's weird. But Lumen, uh, yeah, okay, this is gross. Lumen's going to open plow next round. Almost certainly. Oh, I also can't stables anymore. But whatever, I have stables wood now. So uh, now I build the clay oven and bake three times. Um, Teal's carrot, I blocked them on so. I, I didn't sew. Gordon sewed. Pub owner for Lumen. Nice. Okay. I want a clay oven. And I want to bake three times and have a million food. Do, do, do. Okay. Sweet. Confirm. Go faster. I don't have time. Don't show me the animations. Just do it. <laughs> Just. Uh, oh yeah, this carrot museum is too slow, but whatever. Um, oh, that's why they wanted to plow fields, so I see what you're saying. That's why. Excursion to the quarry for Lumen. Oh, that's gross. Lumen really trying to get the Renos in. Lumen getting Renos in with 4 and 8 is a bit tough, but this is a fun collector game. My game still looks very good, but I have to get this plow in, so I might have to start player here. Uh, but I can just start player Milk Jug for some extra food. Start player Milk Jug actually feeds me for the rest of the game, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, this could go plow, sow, plow, grow, which is what I think is happening here. This is plow, sow, plow, family growth, and then I just have to start, I have to, I have to start player. I need stables this round. I'll have to open plow in the final round. Uh, I can take two stone for fodder chamber. Uh, I try to take a veg so I can actually sow some crops. Uh, yeah. And indeed, everything has come to pass, as I said it might. So we just milk jug. It's a late milk jug, but it's fine. I like milk jug. Actually, does one cow even get taken this round? Crazy enough, it might not. It's not clear anybody needs that. Uh, I definitely need stables here. Definitely need the stables. Oh, one cow definitely does get taken. Oh, Gordon's way bucket. Although he has a groom. Meh, whatever. I approve. I'm going to get these stables in. I have no idea if these stables are actually contested, but whatever. These stables are needed. The animal capacity matters. I'm breeding all the animals, and yeah, I can't do anything else. I want this two stone next. I want this two stone and then this veg, I think. Two stone and then veg, yeah. Uh, groom was for veg field. Sure. It did something, I'm sure. Uh, I might plant any of these ox by anymore, by the way. No, okay, it's too late. But I really don't need anything. Like, my game's turning out pretty clean. Fern Seeds. Fern Seeds, I think, is an okay card for me, but it's going to be too late to matter. All right, give me my two stone. Cool. Uh, do I take a veg here, or do I just take more grain, actually? It might be take more grain... And then, so bake it? No, no, veg, veg's got to be better. Veg has got to be better from allowed to. The problem is fodder chamber requires so much grain. I'm not going to get that many grain points. But, oh well. Moral Crusader, what? Oh, oh, uh, it's, it's education bonus. Education bonus. I'm like, why are we playing a Moral Crusader? But, head bonus. All right, Lumen's getting a couple crops on the ground. Cool, cool. All right, grain is two VP, veg is three. I mean, that assumes I'm actually sowing the grain, which, like, I might not even get a sow action. Although somebody might take sheep pretty early next round, too, and feed me extra grain, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, this game still looks pretty good for me. I have ovens as points. I'm going to have a fodder chamber for a lot of points. I have stables, pastures, and a bunch of animals in pretty high capacity. I have a lot, like, I have decent crops. I have good pastures. I only have four family members in a three room house. So there's that. But, like, looking at my opponents, who's beating me? I mean, maybe Lumen, but Lumen has this big negative six, although he has a five room stone house, which will essentially offset that. And he is going to hit Sheep Keeper. Yeah, he is. He's missing a lot of 
Cloud points. I don't know. We'll see. At least my auto confirm on animals is looking good. I think I've been pretty good on time this game. Um... But we'll see. I mean, there's been a couple long turns, including this one's going to be one because plowing is annoyingly slow. Um, all right. Do, do, do. Swing plow. Away. All right. Good old swing plow. Being a champ. Be an absolute champ. All right, is there any chance two sheep gets taken? Is there any pressure on Sobake? Wait a sec. Is there any real pressure on Sobake? There's, like, no pressure on Sobake. So I'm not going to rush Sobake. I'm going to take Grow if it comes. Well, Grow is coming to me. Uh, Yeah, I just Grow. I just Grow. Yeah, yeah, definitely Grow. Then somebody's going to take sheep. And then I'll Sobake. And life is going to be pretty fantastic. And then I fodder chamber final action. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. We already have the food for this. That's great. Somebody takes sheep, right? Oh, wow. No. Sheep might not get taken before I'm sowing. That's awkward. I guess I could greet it even further. I just play fodder chamber. Yeah, I may as well play fodder chamber here. Um... And then greet out the so last action if it comes back. Take the sheep, somebody. Boo. <laughs> yes, Lumen. Friend Lumen. I approve. All right, and we do get so big back. Excellent. Fun that we were able to read that, even in the limited time we had. Um, I feel pretty good about this game now. Like, I have five family members. I have three stables. I have how many animal points? I have five, five, four. Oh, I'm at 14 animals. So that's still a six-point fodder chamber overall. I mean, four bonus points plus the two on it. So, like, my offboard is six... Seven, eight, well, 11 off boards, not that good, but this is a pretty good farm. Like, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. I mean, it's it's good animal points. Two, three, three, eight, six, 14, six, eight. I have 42 on board. And then 11 off board, I said. So I think I have 53. I mean, 53 is pretty good. But that six clay wasn't that bad after all. Uh, the fact that it got me the clay oven and then actually the milk jug, the trickle of food was pretty good. Um, Lumen, friend of the stream. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, the six clay turned out reasonable. Plus, nobody else got the six clay. I mean, there's always that fact, too. Like, I don't know how much that impacted anybody, though, but. I think this is probably still the win. Again, Lumen looks closest to me, but his offboard is pretty weak. He has the big stone house, but then his, his fields are weak. And then he still has this negative six anyhow. So, like, his house is essentially... His house and his beggars essentially cancel out. So then my farm versus his farm. My farm's a bit better due to the fields, and my offboard is a bit better. So I pretty much have to be ahead of him. And then Gordon's farm is weaker. This farm's reasonably good, but it's missing stables. Yeah, I got it. I got the win. Fairly comfortably, actually. Yeah, by quite a bit here. Uh, pretty big win. But yeah, I mean, ultimately... Oh, but did I actually get the win? Did I actually get the win? Fastest player also. The fastest and the win. That's how you win a Quickola. All right. That feels good. <laughs> well done. Yeah, thanks. I mean, on some level, I definitely got handed the easiest game plan in the draft. Like, I got to first pick a swing plow and a lover, and then from there I was like, oh, I'll just 
Also, I mean, we got late growth. Late growth was very good for us. The fact that Gordon wound up being the one that was squatting, and then I got to just grow second. Well, I I got to I didn't grow second because a little stick knitter. But I mean, this sheep provider turned out really big. The corn scoop actually was really quite good for this game plan too. Nobody else wanted ovens was very big, so that was huge. But oh man, slowest player, you're bad. Oh, it's fine. Uh, I mean, honestly, throw part of your problem was one of the biggest tips. Uh, for running Aquicola, you gotta change your confirm settings. You, I saw that you undid a move. You can't, you can't be doing that in Aquicola. Uh, it's, it's definitely scary to play a game without undos. But no, I changed all my settings. There were no confirms, no confirms. That makes you much faster. Um, you, you can't, yeah, you can't do any. You've done a quickle with confirms? Wow. So my biggest problem with confirms is that it just slows, like, I feel like my connection to the BGA server is never that fast. And I'm, I feel like I always am losing, like, a second or two to the server while it does its updates. And if you just don't have those, I don't get penalized for them, but I don't know. Anyhow... I turn all of mine off when I play Aquicola, but then I have to usually try to remember to turn them back on before my next Agricola game, but yeah. Anyhow, uh, you did on you did on one did too. You did have confirms off though. Gotcha. Anyhow, that was your first time playing Aquicola. Yeah. Uh, you think that gave was essential? Scoop was not that obvious. Yeah, I don't know if Scoop was super obvious in the draft, but um, it turned out very useful. Um, I, I I don't even remember where. I mean, the draft was so fast too, right? Like, I mean, that was part of the nonsense. Like, I I partly like who really knows what necessarily won this, but I mean, this fodder chamber was very beneficial because Lumen injected so many animals into the game, and then I got to be the other person defense first after lumen and then i just got handed a pair of sheep i had a boar and a pair of or like i got yeah i just got a pair of sheep pair of boar pair of cows uh i got to take a bit more wood with woodcutter because i had enough actions to just use it my food was a little sketch for just a te for just a teeny bit but corn scoop stone oven sowing crops turned out fine being able to sneak the clay oven in there too is actually really helpful just to save the one bake action uh, I got to greet a couple other things, but yeah, that was, it was nice. I mean, I definitely got some really nice sequences in the mid game too, right? The round where I wanted to start player plow grain, so bake, I was able to do that. And then I got to open next round with the six wood pile. Um, so I mean, that was like another just huge break where that timed out well. The fact that I got to grow in round eight without having to start player for it, and that I had just the right food to be able to grow, grow with lover. I mean, that's, yeah, it was nice. But, all right. Uh, do, do, do. You hope to encourage more quick on stream. I mean, we got to actually find the people for it, which is always tricky. But yeah, that was, I was really happy that worked. Why did everyone want so much wood? You thought wood pressure would let up after everybody had fenced already? Uh, tree garden rebuilt for an aid, no other choice. Yeah, I mean, Lumen was always going to take more wood to keep building rooms. I needed to take wood because I couldn't fit all my animals, and my fodder chamber really wanted me to have all these extra animals. Um, I, I, I thought your joinery was pretty ambitious given the well was there at the time you built the joinery, and yeah, I, I, I... I, I, joinery is just usually a trap, but you know that by now. Come on. But whatever. You ask it a woodcutter? I mean, also, yeah, that's part of the problem here is woodcutter is a card that encourages you just to take two wood actions because they're really three wood actions. And just taking, like, taking three wood, three wood into stables, that was a good sequence for me. Yes, it was three actions for three points of stables, but the stables were a couple extra points of animals and then actually quite a lot of extra points of animals. So like, yeah, you had feeding problems forced you to the majority line. Ah, gotcha. Okay. I, 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 I did notice your feeding was really, yeah, your feeding turned questionable. I mean, honestly, everybody's food pressure. Was, well, no, Lumen got out of food pressure once he did the collector fencing stuff, but I saw one or two weird moves also from Teal on the food pressure, which is part of how I think I got the six wood. Everybody had food pressures in round nine. Uh, 
which is where I did my yeah start player plow grain so and then yeah I got left the wood pile because everybody was doing slightly weird things in round nine there was so much of that quick growth happening so you figured with manservant you didn't need to set up feeding you didn't get it going quick enough and you didn't get good bottom feeding in round one. Oh yeah I mean that was the other like big difference right so I took a three food action in round three and then somebody else also took three food in round three but with late sheep in the game and nobody playing early food cards. The only early food card was Sheep Provider, but with Sheep Late, like this also means Sheep Provider is going to provide less food. I, I guess on some level, Animal Teacher is a bit of extra food, but like, I just saw a late Sheep game with nobody having obvious extra food injections. I had, to, like, settling for a three food action also felt pretty good at the time. Um,. But yeah, I mean, admittedly, again, that's another reason my game broke so well. This little stick knitter feeding me some extra grain was also just very useful in a game that was food tight. Being able to just fuel my game off of baking food was not, I don't think it was guaranteed at all. But that working out so smoothly was very nice for me. So anyhow, that was fun. Uh, it was fun to do a quick, a quick game like that. And uh I I'm glad to glad to sneak sneak the win plus the fastest. Not even doing it because I had the fewest actions either. The action count's actually remarkably equal here. Um but yeah. We did only thirty we did a quick in thirty minutes though. That's 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 good. That's what you want to see. Beat their estimate. Collectors of 40 second time loss, take notes. I, d I did say that as soon as you had collector down, I was like, wow, that's that. I said that was a bit bold for a, a quick little game. And I mostly meant to just because I thought collector, like to me, collector takes so much kind of mental energy to like really work out anyhow on what you should be doing and how you should sequence. But yeah, I, I kind of forgot about just the actual like process of clicking all those buttons and confirming all the animal arrangements also. That's, yeah, that's definitely slows you down. Two room strat next time. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Anyhow, uh, yeah, thanks everybody for that. That was fun. I'm glad that we had this kind of hang on. I'm glad that we got this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head off and uh, go do some other stuff. Hopefully tomorrow we can get a full real game, uh, whatever it turns out to be. Um, I wish I had time right now. Look at this table for me. June, Bulldozers, Zach. That's juicy, but uh, sadly, that's not for me. I am going to head off and do other things. Uh, but Oh my gosh, also, I totally missed this, but Merrick, thanks so much. First off, for the Prime sub, awesome. Always appreciate all you guys that sub. And then I totally see you've gifted a sub to Gordon. Welcome, Gordon, to the sub club. Uh, more importantly, gift sub from Merrick, thanks so much. I think that's the first gift sub on this channel, actually. Uh, I'm not sure that's true, but it might be. I don't necessarily rem remember another one, but there very well could have been, and I'm just not remembering it. But regardless, it's very appreciated, very cool. Uh, yeah. I gifted you a sub to this channel. Oh, that's true! Yeah, that's right. It was your birthday, and I gifted you a sub to this channel. Ooh. Maybe there's been some other gift subs too. I mean, I have been streaming for like almost two years already, which is insane, by the way. That's like, I don't know how time flies. Like the pandemic felt so long at various points, but then also life just has flown by in various ways too. Like, oh, crazy. Um, but yeah. All right. I've probably had some gift subs, I guess. But anyhow, I really appreciate it. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's been good. Thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks. Yeah, it's just good. Uh, I am aiming to stream tomorrow. I probably at some point I don't know I might sneak a lunch break stream in otherwise probably sneak a stream after Lumens tomorrow or something uh but then I'll probably stream something Sunday also because I have time when through the ages yeah that's a good question going back to through the ages would be cool I mean this is part of the problem I kind of want to stream Agricola I still want to do some fan faction Terra Mystic games I wouldn't mind getting some through the ages in here and there and then I also want to get just a handful of Converta streams in over the next, like, two weeks, just because it hit and it's new. Um, I quickly already soured on it again during 
alpha, but I'd like to get a handful of games in uh, just to introduce a couple other players and maybe give them a few ideas. So the answer is, I don't know when TTA, I guess, <laughs> is the actual answer, but uh, I definitely should try to find a time again. That'd be good fun. So, uh, But yeah, for now, I'm going to head off. Thanks all. The Aquicola was great. Thanks, guys, for uh, everybody who participated in that and helped make it happen. Uh, it was it was a good good fast pace like it was supposed to be chaotic wild great uh i'll probably actually try to get this a quick on youtube also because that's sweet but that might actually require me to video edit a little because the stream is so chaotic or i'll just upload the stream and people can figure it out i don't know i'll figure it out but all right anyhow see you all around